This is crazy, everyone. Just figured out who Allison and Tyler's real father is. Did not expect that. I did actually not, I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming. Let me take the lead on this. I know him better. Yeah, I thought I did, anyway. Sure, whatever. As long as we get answers. This blows my mind though, guys. This blows my mind. Kids, listen. You're our father. How bad it got out here. How little we had. Why didn't you help Marianne? You mean all the money she wanted? We didn't have anything to spare. Well, that winter was rough on everyone. And you would have starved out here if not for all the free food we gave you. Don't act like you had anything to do with that. That was all Tessa. That's a cruel presumption, young man. Well, maybe it was Tessa's idea initially. But I supported it. And your mother was happy to live off our handouts. Spoken like a true politician. You were here that night. You saw Marianne and Tyler. Why didn't you help? I know it wasn't my best moment. But she threatened my life. So you just decided to let her drown? I didn't decide anything. Everything happened so fast, I panicked. And by the time I got to town, Brown was already on his way out. There was nothing else I could do. So what do we do now? We tell him he's got to fix the mess he made, one way or another. You tried to burn you the barn down. You tried to burn down our barn and knocked Tyler unconscious. I never meant to hurt anybody. You weren't supposed to be home. Doesn't excuse the fact that you didn't even stop to help. What do you want me to say? I panicked. I was terrified that this whole thing was going to blow up in my face. I had to do something. Yes, this is so cool. I'm trying really hard to keep myself from punching him in the face. Does he really expect us to believe there wasn't anything else he could have done that night? I don't know, Ellie. I'd rather not think about it. He's got to make it right. You failed us, Tom. You need to make it right. I'll do whatever you want. As long as none of this gets out. Excuse me? You want me to pay for my mistakes? Fine. But please, Tessa can't know. This would kill her. Tessa already knows, Tom. No. That's... That's impossible. It never occurred to you the reason Tessa cut Marianne off was you? Uh, I... But she... She never said anything. You should try talking to your wife. Maybe if you had, we wouldn't be in this situation. And maybe Marianne wouldn't be dead. Oh, come on. You of all people should appreciate how troubled Marianne was. She was unhinged. Something like this would have happened sooner or later. I'm going to say that he preyed on her. I don't like this guy. That was convenient for you, huh? You preyed on her because she was vulnerable. And you knew you could always blame it on crazy Marianne Ronan if you got caught. It was nothing like that. Nothing at all. Your mother was... a very pretty woman. 
And she'd been so many places and done so many things. The way I always thought I would have. I got caught up. Love made me a fool. Look, I made mistakes. But this will not go any further than the three of us. Why? We know. Tessa knows. Marianne's dead. There's no point in hiding it anymore. He's afraid it'll tank his campaign. Am I wrong? Jesus, Tom. I've kept your secret all these years. I don't want to go spilling it. But I will if I have to. What? Yeah. Your little story about self-defense. I've never told anyone how Marianne really died. Wait a minute, what? That night, I came out here because I was worried about your mother. I don't believe him, he's a liar. He's a liar. Who just creeps around in a little raincoat? What are they doing? They made me do it. They made me do it. Why did they show it? It's his fault. It's his fault. Crap, guys, this is this is gonna be wild. So what really happened, guys? I'm not really sure what Tom's point was, though. I mean, Allison still thought she was going to kill Tyler. I mean, it looked like she was going to shoot him. It looked like she was going to kill him from her perspective, you know? No. No way. You're a fucking liar. I saw what I saw. Ugh! You're manipulating us just like you manipulated her. Tyler! You're not listening to this, are you? Be smart about this, Allison. Are you sure you want this to get out? You've got way more here to lose than he does. His name will be all but clear, but you... You'll be a killer. What will your uncle say? And Michael? Hmm? Well, the whole town might turn on you. This guy's such Don't a piece him. of crap, man. You know I'm right. Just get out of here, Tom. Tyler and I need to talk alone. Just please. Think twice before making any rash decisions. There are a whole lot of lives at stake here. Leave us the fuck alone. And never come back. I don't feel like this changes much though because it still seems like Allison thought that she was going to kill Tyler. I mean, she couldn't have heard him. She couldn't have heard Marianne say that she wasn't going to hurt him. 
Like she thought Allie, she was saving you okay? You know, her sibling. He didn't let that asshole get to you, did you? Did you? What if he's right? I've been having all these nightmares about that night. And they were a lot like how Tom said. And now, when I try to remember, that's all I can see. He's trying to mess with your head, and you're letting it work. No, it's more than that. Ever since we started digging, I... I haven't been able to shake this feeling like something's off. Something's off because he put this in your head? Don't let him get away with it. He might not be lying. We, we keep getting things mixed up. We remember totally different versions of the past. Those are just details. This isn't that. She was going to kill me. I'm not so sure anymore, Tyler. Yo, what is happening, guys? What is happening? This is crazy. No matter which way it went, Allison couldn't have known. She was just doing what she thought she had to do. I mean, your mom's walking at your sibling with a shotgun. Like, either way, it doesn't look good. But I don't want to think Marianne is she had bad. She gun pointed at me. She chased me. She said she was going to kill me. She threatened Tom with those exact same words. With the same gun on the same pier. The thing you said to Eddie the other day got thrown back at me. Don't you think it's possible that happened here too? I guess it's possible. Is it gonna make me choose, guys? No. Fuck. No, I can't do it. I can't I, do I it. I don't know. Guys, I can't do it. No, please don't make me choose. And we're never gonna know the truth, are we? Yes, let's just the leave it at that. you walk away from something. That's it. Can we just yeah. not know the truth? Do not make me choose a truth. I guess at this point, you just... Have to decide what you believe. No, I don't want to do it. Yeah, you need to start dealing, Allie. And that means coming to terms with whatever version of the past feels the most true to you. No more running. Whatever you choose, you gotta live with it, okay? Allison seems to believe that She wasn't threatening him. I feel like I have to go with Allison's. I'm not gonna hurt you. I don't want to believe that she would hurt. I'm going to kill you! Stick to your memory. I'm not gonna hurt you. Guys, what would you want to believe? That you killed your mom? Who wasn't gonna hurt your... 
your your brother or would you rather believe that your mother was gonna kill your brother and you protected your brother I don't know guys I'm going to kill you I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with our memory guys I'm sorry if this is the I'm wrong decision going to kill you let me know what your decision would have been but I'm gonna stick with the memory I'm we already going have to kill you to kill you I'm going to kill you no, don't do this. Tyler and Allison are all all each other have left you know couldn't face being separated from our kids again. And the only way to make sure that never happened was for all of us to go together. I know it in my heart. I saved you. I saved us. I know. I did the right thing. They're all they have left, guys. You want to go back inside? Yeah. I think that's the best memory or the best choice we could have made there. I think that was the right choice. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you all think because... I feel like, you know, we have to hope that Tyler and Al Tyler was really being threatened and Allison was sticking up for him because... I think that's the best way to look at it. Hey, peep what I just found downstairs. What do you think? Will it have aged well, or just gone bad? Cheers, I guess. I can't believe Tom thought we'd buy that story. And that I almost did. Yeah, I still can't believe he and Marianne. What the hell did she see in him? She was probably just really, really lonely after she lost Leah. I could never get that lonely. Listen, with everything that's been going on, it got me thinking about our voice. Like, that maybe we should stop using it. What? I just don't trust it, and I think we'll be better off without it. This morning, I kept getting these horrible visions. Of you and Marianne and Eddie. Visions? Like our memories? Yeah, but, but different. It was all my worst thoughts brought to life. You were in my bedroom saying I abandoned you. Eddie called me a snake. I'm sorry. I should have been there for you. It's okay. I was the one who walked out. I just... I can't let that happen again. I, I don't think it will. Something's been pushing us to find answers. And now we have them. Maybe I'm wrong. And if it stays bad, we can stop. But I really want to keep what makes us, us. The mad hunter was forced to remain below the lake with the moon hag, but she did not kill him because even reduced to just one hand, he was too useful a servant. Lo, he plotted what do you the day think? he would emerge. Brothers and sisters. To once again hunt the wise princess and earn back his left hand. Always. And that is the story of how the crafty goblins rescued the wise princess from the mad hunter. 
Dang everyone, this is the end. What an incredible journey, an incredible story. Hopefully I made the right decisions. This game has a lot of replayability. Man, we could... You could really make some different choices here. Which I think, even if you're watching me play this, I think you should go back and play this yourself and make your own decisions if you would have changed some stuff. Go back and play this yourself and, and make those different decisions. See what you would have done differently. Maybe you would have done the same things. Maybe you would have done something different. You never know. You never know until you play, you know? But, uh, I'm happy with my decisions. I think I made some, some good calls there. At least for me. And, um... Yeah, I don't know. It was a fantastic game. Fantastic story. And I really enjoyed it. I hope you all did as well. So let's see how our decisions went. Six months later, everyone. Six months later. It looks like they're still here. Yo, is that Tyler? He looks so much different now. He shaved his head. He looks way different. Is he rocking the double denim right now? One last look, and I'm good to go. The jean on jean. Yo, maybe, maybe Tyler actually stayed here. While Allison moved to Juno. Maybe not, I'm not sure. Because I thought she was using the uh, the house money to do so. Maybe not, I don't know. Hey, it's me. Hey, me. <laughs> house is empty. I'm getting ready to head out. So, last chance. Is there anything you want me to do while I'm in town? Listen, Ty. You're dropping off the keys with Tina, right? Yep. Gonna leave them at her office on my way to the ferry. Well, that's it then. How's Juno? Big and full of people, even without tourists. Michael's been writing up rules for the apartment. I need your support against his whole food policy. Just refuse to sign anything until I get there, okay? Okay, but you better hurry. If he gets his way, we'll only have one small shelf for junk food. What? Heresy. I'm gonna need like twice that just for snack cakes after my surgery next month. I know, right? This cannot stand. Uh, let's ask. Let's see how she is. How are you? Good, actually. Really good. You? Same. You know, emptying the house really cleared my head out. Thanks for doing that. The observatory really needed me this week. And after everything that happened, I, I just felt like I needed to keep some miles between me and Delos Crossing. No worries. You still loving your therapist? Gail, yes. I was actually just doing some letter writing she assigned me as homework. It really helped me get some perspective. That sounds awesome. Let's see what happened to Tom. I gotta know. Uh, did you see the article I sent you about Tom losing the election? Ah, yes. I saw your message right before derby practice, so I didn't have time to read it. But I did cackle at the headline. <laughs> did you picture Tom's face whenever you went in for a block? <laughs> no, but that is a great idea. <laughs> Anyways, I'm glad Tessa finally left his ass. Karma is a bitch. Alright, let's go and see what else we have left here. Okay, I'm gonna hang up now. See you tonight. Okay. I'm gonna take one last walk through the house and then head to the ferry. Drive safe. Uh, pretty sure that's the only way possible in the old Allison Mobile. Love you, Tyler. Love you. Alright, let's go around and see what we can see. So what is this here? Is this like a memory? Is this an interaction? Oh, send a picture. Okay. Cool. Take a picture of each room. Emptied out. This is a pretty cool house. I, I do like this house. Does it really only have two bedrooms though? I thought it said two bedrooms, one bathroom. Yeah, I guess this isn't a bedroom. I feel like uh, $200,000 is a lot of money for... A two-bedroom, one-bathroom house. Certainly hope the new owners are Mr. or Mrs. Fix-It. But, um, I don't know. It does have a lake view. I don't know. It's a pretty, pretty place. Huh. 
<laughs> That's cool. I don't think there's anything else we can do through here, so let's just go downstairs. We'll send a few more pictures. Man, seeing it empty is so weird. But at least it's the last time we'll ever have to. <laughs> Dillis Crossing Most Wanted Escapes Again. <laughs> that raccoon man. Oh boy. Should we go outside? Dude, look at this. Okay, I see why this house costs two hundred thousand dollars. Just look at the view. I see. I see why now. I think it's pretty obvious why. Yeah, I think it's worth two hundred thousand dollars just for this view alone. One more jog down memory lane, Mr. Ronan. Hey, I'm having a private moment with me, myself, and I here. <laughs> okay, carry on. All right, let's go back inside. Let's finish up in here. Guys, I'm going to hate to uh, end this game, man. This game was so much fun. This game was so much fun. Very well done. Have to applaud. I think it's pronounced Don't Nod Entertainment. Don't Nod. They made a fantastic game. Must be a relief to finally be done with that place. No doubts. If traffic's not too bad, I should be back at our place around 4. Only if the mailbot bandit escapes. Nice. Alright, let's keep looking around, see what else we can see. I don't see anything else in here necessarily that I can look at. Well, maybe this. A couple things here. Hey goblins, word in town is you guys finally sold the house. I came by tonight to help you fix what needs to be fixed, but there was nobody home. Are you gone already? Things change so fast these days. You know where to find me if you want me to fix things. If you're still in town, I mean it's getting late and I'm pretty tired. I wish it wasn't easy to fix everything as a boat. Call me if you're still around. Aw, oh, Sam's a pretty good guy. Gotta take these photos. Gotta take the photos for sure. We definitely want those. What do we got on the ground here? Juno University. <laughs> I wonder if that's a real place. The only problem with this house is the ugly wallpaper. It is some ugly wallpaper. To be expected, I guess, though. Guys, are you serious? Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm making a cut. That ruined the moment. All right, everyone, there we go. So, uh, sorry if my controller died. What in the world? <laughs> that was not meant to happen. All right, let's see what else is here. Huh. Well, at least she finally dumped his ass. I'm writing this letter from Juno International Airport while I receive boarding a plane to Manila on a missionary assignment. I apologize for not coming in person to say goodbye, but I was called to make this decision alone and to carry it out on my own as well. I will not be coming back to Dallas Crossing for some time. Perhaps because I have never found the strength to confront my husband, I have never been able to forgive Marianne for her betrayal. I truly did love you both like my children and always tried to forgive your mother for her unapologetic lifestyle. When I discovered that you were the fruit of her affair with my Thomas, I wanted her to suffer like I was suffering, and I brought down your own house, your house, the wrath I never dared allow to unfold in mine. I've been deeply ashamed all these years, and I'm surprised how much better I feel with it out in the open. Dang. Maybe, so Tessa wasn't the problem. It, it was always... Thomas Anthony Fecky. Always, Tom. Okay, what else do we have, everyone? Is there anything else that I'm missing? I don't want to miss anything, if we, if possible. I want to make sure we check out everything we can. Anything in here? I think we're good, everyone. I think we are good. I think we're good to uh, shut up the old keep. I should grab the rest of my stuff before I head out. Okay, what did I not grab? 
What do we leave behind, everyone? Oh, I didn't even see this here. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Okay, I don't think this is what he was talking about. What are we, what are we missing? I'm not sure what I'm missing here. Did I miss something that I was supposed to pick up? This is the bandit. That's the raccoon bandit thing. I mean, is he just going to leave his computer? Am I missing something, guys? There must be something I'm not grabbing. I'm going to go back upstairs one quick time. Because I'm not sure what it would be. We've already left this room. It's empty. We've already leaned on that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what I'm leaving. Maybe it's stuff that's outside. I'm gonna guess it's stuff that's outside. I should grab the rest of my stuff before I head out. I should have probably run these by his place. Or just drop them off at Bernie's. It's too bad Tessa closed your cafe. That other place just doesn't quite hit the spot. Can we go back out here? Is there anything here that we need to grab? I'm gonna look and check. Doesn't look like it. Should we take one last stroll down to the docks, everyone? All this stuff's gone over here. Should we take one last trip down to look at the view? I think so. This is a beautiful place. Let's take it all in. Before we have yeah. to go. Time to move on. Dang, guys. Look at that view, man. This view is worth $200,000. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> it's incredible. Alright, everyone. I think it's time to go. I don't really know what else I'm missing, though. There may be something else I need to find. Oh, there's a bench. You guys want to take a seat? Just take a little sit down, everyone. There we go. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. Actually, yeah. Everything really is. Alright, everyone. I don't know exactly what else I need to get. So I'm going to see if it's going to let me go. Aw, dreamy sigh. Okay, anything else here? I don't see anything else, guys. What else am I leaving, guys? Am I missing something? There's got to be something I'm missing, but I don't see it. I don't see it, everyone. I've got to find it, though. Have we ever went over here? I never knew you could just explore this like this. This is kind of cool. So I'm surprised there's nothing hidden over here. Maybe there is, and I'm just not seeing it. This is really neat. I like this. This game is so good. This was a lot. This is a lot of fun to play. Oh, we can skip a rock. That is sweet. I like Tyler's new haircut. It's pretty cool. I like it. Suits him. I like it. All right, everyone. I'm trying to figure out what else I have to do here. I'm not sure. Oh, here we go, guys. Okay, so I just figured it out. You have to take his la- It, like, gave me another option to take his stuff on the couch. I just didn't realize I had that option previously. My bad. Okay, I guess that's- I was like, yeah, he's leaving his computer, but obviously he wasn't leaving his computer. I just was leaving his computer. All right, everyone, here we go. Time to leave the house for good. The end of a story. It was a very good story. Really enjoyed it. 
Really enjoyed it. Well, this is goodbye for real, I guess. Now I guess this is the real ending, everyone. Man, this game is a lot of fun. Hey, Aaron. It's Ty. Oh, Ty a lot Ryan. of fun. I, uh, thought I'd catch you on your break between sessions, but I guess you're going long with another rebel with too many causes. <laughs> I, I know I haven't reached out since I left Fireweed, but I just wanted to say, well, you were right about grief, about it going in circles. This morning, I was out on the porch staring at the fog, and my mother, she, she just tumbled right out of me. But it was okay. It actually felt good to remember. Anyway, uh, give me a call back if you get a chance. I'll see you around. And thank you. Alright everyone, that is going to be the end of Tell Me Why. I'm going to skip through this uh, so that I can see what my decisions were. Don't not entertain me. You guys made a fantastic game. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let's skip through here and let's see what our decisions were. Allison was grateful they completed Marianne's puzzle, so 92% completed it. I'm glad I didn't break it. I was almost about to break it, and I just realized that the doors had letters on them. I would have been in the 8% of players. Oh, man. Allison felt that standing by the twins' memory was the right thing. Um, so 67% believed Tom's testimony. Um, but Tom was a snake, and you can't believe snakes. The twins trusted their bond and kept their voice. 99% held on to their voice. Wow, so there's a 1% um, amount of people that let go of their voice. I don't even remember making that decision. I guess it was just basically the bond that you built between Tyler and Allison. I guess if you broke that bond throughout the game, then eventually you'd lose your voice. Um, they wouldn't be very strong in their relationship, which is crazy. Eddie was relieved that Allison accepted responsibility in the murder. So 73% confessed the truth. 27% didn't. So in the majority there, Sam felt understood. So 77% uh, listened to Sam while 23% confronted him with his addiction. Michael felt closer to Tyler. So 74% kissed Michael. 26% did not. And uh, that looks like that's going to be it. All right, everyone, I don't know if there's anything here at the end of the video. Sometimes they do a little teaser between each uh, chapter, but obviously this is the last chapter, so I don't know if there's going to be anything. If not, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to drop a like on it. If you enjoyed the series and you're new to the channel, be sure and subscribe because I'm going to be playing more games in the future as they release, whatever I think looks fun and entertaining. I'm going to play it, so thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.